everyone, Mr. Merkich here, and today I've got another Skype tool video for you. And this is actually going to be a mood cycler. Now, I showed something like this in the past, but it was a more preset and you was left with less or less options. But in this video, I've got a method where it allows a lot more flexibility and the users can have custom text and stuff. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I'll just find an empty space to work with, and this will be good. Uh, and I'll show you what I mean. So what we're going to have is a button uh, and also one text box like that and I'll just rename this button to set mood. Now inside this uh, button, let me just get the number of this, text box 40, what we want to have is a for each statement. So what we want to do is the user is going to input their text into this text box and we want to get each individual character the text they've entered uh, so how we can do this is we can say for each now we need to give it a name let's just call it uh, LTR short for letter as a car character in our text box which is text box 40 dot text so for each character in our text box pretty much this is what this code's doing we can do something so for each character we are going to do something now what we want to do is set the mood obviously so we we want to set skype dot current user profile dot mood text now that is going to be equal to well because we'll, we want to add each letter individually it, what it would do let's say we entered joe in the text box what it will do is it will say it will put the mood to j and then it will just put the mood to o and then put the mood to e it wouldn't actually add J, then keep J, then add O, then keep J-O, then add the E. So th the way we can do that is we can equal it to itself. So it will be equal to skype.currentuserprofile.moodText. So let's say the mood's Joe, it's going to be equal to Joe again, and then whatever we add onto it. So what we want to add on is the letter. So for each letter, it's going to be equal to its previous mood plus the new letter. So hopefully you can understand how that works. But the thing is, uh, if you remember, in the past we had to put pauses to create the gap. I use system.thread in and put the thread to sleep. Obviously I did say that's not the best method to use, but I'm going to be using it again just for the example of the video. So we can use system.thread in.thread.sleep. And I'll just put a preset time of a thousand for one second. Uh, but remember, I showed you before how to use track bars, uh, text boxes for numbers. There's no need for me to go over it again uh, because I've already done it in the past. If you search Mood Cycle on my channel, you'll find it, uh, find out how I did that. So what this is going to do is, obviously like I already explained, it's going to have the pause between each letter and it's going to create the effect of an animation that your moods add in a letter one by one until it's complete. Now because let's say the user already has a mood we don't want to be adding on because we're equaling it to the same let's say they already had a mood it will keep their mood there so we want to clear that before we do anything so outside of the for each statement because if we cleared it inside it's going to clear and it's not going to work how it should so we need to clear it outside so what we want to do is because we want to do it one time in the button click we can say skype .mood text is equal to nothing so pretty much when this button's clicked, we're clearing it and then we're starting from fresh. So then by the, like default, it's going to be equal to itself again, which is nothing and the first letter. So J, then J plus O plus E, so on. Now I'll show you this uh, in effect. So let me just go. You can already see that I did spam. That's the only downside to this. Uh, feature is I guess it spams Skype home but who looks at Skype home anyway um, so what we do is we'll enter some text I'll just put Joe and I'll press set mood and you should see it take effect J O E and it's just gonna do the cycle once uh, so you can see it added J then it's J O then it's J O E so for each letter that could be as long as you wanted to but do take into account some people probably do look at Skype home and we'll get a bit annoyed at you for spamming this so I don't really like having it like on 
I don't really recommend it, but people want to see some cool features, so I'll show it for you. So yeah, if you did want this cycle to repeat, um, again, like previous tutorials, you've watched me put it in timers to repeat the action, um, and so on. So that's all you really needed to see was the for each part, for each character. So that's it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. Uh, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.